Thousands of families from West Nile, Karamoja, and Northern Uganda have been drawn into celebrations as the government of Uganda has officially handed them certificates of customary ownership. Drawn from the districts of Apach, Maracha, and Agago, they have the Thursday convened at Ibuje Primary School in Apach district at an event presided over by His Excellency Yori Kagutam Seven, President of Uganda, as the chief guest. So I congratulate uh, the Ministry of uh, Lands for getting out of Nino and, and really solve this problem. This milestone achievement is being spearheaded by the Ministry of Lands, working with other development partners. Land tenure security is important on many accounts. First of all, um, land ownership is linked to the protection of the environment and the conservation of protected areas such as forests and wetlands. I'm informed that families and communities have begun to engage in producing surplus food for sale, including growing palm tree, soya beans, cotton, sunflower, among others. Knowing that no one will destroy their cash crops, through the illegal land eviction. According to the Ministry of Lands, Housing and Urban Development, more customary titles are to be processed by government, targeting the registration of 27,500 families, 630 clans, and indigenous and vulnerable communities within the next two years. Our target shall be to reach out to landowners in 35 districts in the country. I encourage all those who have land and have not registered. Please do register. Even women, please. However, President Museveni, who committed himself on behalf of the government to this project, was quick to criticize land fragmentation happening in the area. So the, this blindness of destroying what the, the parent did uh, is, is, is dangerous, but not necessary even. Because the, you can actually divide in a very clever way. You the property of the, of the parent remains, it earns, you, 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 you remove the, the, the expenditure, you share the, 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 the profit, and you do your own things. This property can produce more properties. President Museven noted that this culture does not only hinder development, but also undermines the value for land and use. I am really appealing to Ugandans that when we are making wills to our children, Let's do what other people in advanced countries learned long ago. You can ask your guest there, the young lady from Denmark, how they handle inheritance in Europe. They, they, you can ask them quietly, you don't have to ask them here. It is for this case that the president is encouraging Ugandans with large chunks of land to embrace intensive and extensive agriculture. If I've got a thousand acres, I get 800 million. So it's not true that tobacco doesn't have money or that maize doesn't have money or that uh, cotton does not have money. It has money provided you do it on a big scale. President Museven also congratulated the people of Lango for taking palm oil growing seriously, joining those of Kalangala, Rakai, Mundibujo, Mayuge, saying they are going to help Uganda solve the problem of lack of soap. The president also hinted on irrigation, saying the government has a plan to introduce irrigation in the whole country and protect all the swamps as water catchment areas. We are going to in encourage everywhere in Uganda to take land, preserve the wetlands, don't interfere with the wetlands, and take water from the, the wetland to the land. Your Excellency, we are grateful for government efforts to tarmac the Rinkunya Patch Lira Road after several years of waiting. The 1995 Constitution of the Republic of Uganda provides under Article 237, 1 and 3 that the land in Uganda belongs to the citizens of Uganda and shall be held under four tenor systems, which include customary, freehold, myro, and leasehold tenor systems. Roberto Nyango and Bernard Higa for UBC News. Mm -hmm.